Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello, if you're new here, my name is Ngozi, and today I'm joined with Taddy. Hi guys. So today we're going to be talking about um our like honest review of the University of Birmingham because obviously we both go here and we both had our first year yeah. at Birmingham so far. Yeah. So like, what would you in terms of like social life? Because mm -hmm. we can start with that first. Like, yeah. what would you say about it? And what would you like rate out of ten? Okay, I think for me this year my social life out of ten for me it was like a nine out of ten. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna lie. Yeah. Like I had the blast. I was mm -hmm. having fun like I feel like it's because well with me I was trying to make friends like yeah. do things on my own terms so I'm quite like social so mm -hmm. I would like message people and be like is there anything going on or like um let's do something and like I found that people here were very friendly yeah, very receptive true. to me doing that and like mm -hmm. coming forward and just asking to do things yeah. so it's just like it tumbled into then like instead of me asking people like oh do you want to do something yeah. there's this going on there's that going on I mean even though there was COVID obviously like people are not going to stop partying yeah, exactly. we're not going to stop people trying to make the most out. out of it yeah people yeah. really did try to make the most out of COVID and the parties were really good I mean some of them were a bit scary like you know <laughs> the police shows up yeah. and, like I went because I was so scared there's this one um May if it it was like um it was a Casablanca or something like that. Oh, with without welcome to the party. Yeah, yeah it was just welcome to I'd say it was like I'd say eight point five out of ten, mm -hmm. just because it was like the thing is I, I I am quite introverted, but I made sure that when I came here I tried to be as because I'm social, but yeah. I'm an introvert because I'm ups, like I love my own company and I'd well. rather usually be by myself. But I was yeah. like okay, because you're in a new place, you need to like make the most out of it. So yeah. I tried my best to like branch out. Yeah, and I, one thing I tried I tried not to like. I tried to like make like a variety of friends like from mm -hmm. my course and then like, people in the veil and mm -hmm. stuff but mm -hmm. I didn't want to like be in like just a just one one, one yeah, yeah group yeah, although yeah. maybe now it, I kind of ended up in one anyways but I wanted to make sure that there were people kind of outside that so mm -hmm. 8.5 but like I don't know why it's not a 10 I just yeah. guess because it's basically out of 10 out of 10 that's kind of like a big thing to say yeah that is a big thing yeah because yeah. i'm sure there's still people because i'm still meeting people now like yeah, even in yeah. the last few weeks they're yeah, like we're, they're really cool mm -hmm. so i know that there's more people i could have met and stuff yeah. but for the most part it was honestly really good so yeah. the social life yeah. yeah what would you in terms of like the the way they like teach in your course and stuff mm -hmm. and all of that like what would you say about it like how would you review it um i would say so um in first term so my modules right i had different modules the second term mm -hmm. and first term as in i only sh i only did two modules that were the same both mm -hmm. but then they were different so in first term i feel like all my teachers they were they were really good at like mm -hmm. explaining what you need to do i didn't have problems understanding yeah. the content and Wait, what they were saying sorry. so i do international relations of development mm -hmm. um so i feel like when the teachers were explaining they really explained in detail mm -hmm. and even if they felt like they missed anything out they like you obviously you have the office hours they would encourage you to come to the office hours and to talk to them about what you would feel like mm -hmm. they didn't touch on or what you wanted to discuss mm -hmm. so i feel like having that openness as well was really was <clears throat> really good and then in second term there's only one module where i just kind of felt like he he was just like rambling too much mm -hmm. so obviously we had the information there um, but when he was explaining, it's like he was just reading what was on yeah. the PowerPoint. He wouldn't go into detail. Mm -hmm. And then he would just like, he just kept talking about stories. And mm -hmm. it's just sometimes it's like you want to get to the point. Yeah. So I only had like one module that was like that. Mm -hmm. But all in all, um, I feel like they delivered the content very well. Mm -hmm. I didn't have issues understanding. And the things that were on the reading list as well helped mm -hmm. um, like further explain what they were really saying. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think they were pretty well, good. What after would you give? I think out of 10, again, I would give them a 9 out of 10. I don't want to give it a 10 out of 10 because then, mm. you know, that's like saying that it was perfect. Yeah. So. Honestly, yeah. The thing is, yeah. I feel like for me, I've been really unlucky in terms of like my course degree and oh, my teaching really? because for me, it was honestly a good 4 out of 10 and that's even Whoa. being generous. No, because... <laughs> <laughs> no. Tally, they're so bad. Like yeah. uh, the thing is, I talk about this a lot was, on my channel. I do international marketing. Oh, okay, but okay. the thing is, I feel like maybe I wasn't really ready in terms of like what to expect because obviously yeah. it's a master's, so it's yeah. a bit different to how they teach in a degree. So okay. I thought that it would kind of be the same kind of support um that from the lecturers, think. but oh, it's okay. kind of like you're literally on your own and you're like kind of thrown into the deep end. And mm -hmm. whenever I ask questions, like they will never give you a straight answer oh, ever, okay. and they will always kind of like like what do you 
you think like mm. i hate that no that so is no much. she's right that is another thing that yeah. i didn't like again a reason why i can't give it to her i get that yeah but and also another thing else i wanted us to rate was like in terms of like birmingham as a whole like as a mm. city like in terms of things to do and go out yeah. activities would you say that you made the most of that or you found loads of things to do in town um i would rate it maybe like a seven and a half out of yeah. ten the, I feel like it can be a 10 out of 10, mm -hmm. but the reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is because of COVID. Mm -hmm. So most of the things were shut. Mm -hmm. And I tried to explore the city as much as I can. Mm -hmm. um, but then it's like you're only seeing the outside. Like the first time, when we first started, most things were closed. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you true. literally couldn't get anywhere. Like yeah. they were all closed, right? Um, so it's like they were, you couldn't really explore much in the sense of actually going in to mm -hmm. see. You could just just see the buildings outside. Mm -hmm. That was nice in itself. Mm -hmm. um, and then when things started to open up a little bit, I was like, oh okay, I can yeah. go to this. I'm a very like I mm -hmm. love going to restaurants. Yeah. Like, I love going out to eat. Mm -hmm. um, I like going to like social places like get off golf, mm -hmm. like yeah, go kart racing. School. I like to like doing activities like that. Mm -hmm. So when things opened up a little bit more, I kind of got exciting because then now yeah. I can explore different types of restaurants like mm. all these different locations mm -hmm. so um and I, I definitely feel like there's a loads of things to do in the city like it's yeah. so beautiful especially at night as well and then there are places that you, if you're if you're more of like a uh scenic like nature yeah, scenic a person yeah. there are places for that like you can go to the botanical gardens mm -hmm. like even yeah. here not yet though yeah, but know. even here like in edge it's not yeah. city vibes like it's not just buildings and buildings. it's kind of like buildings. countryside vibes yeah it's you giving have you, have you countryside vibes mm -hmm. so there's a bit of everything it's not just like city life and i know mm -hmm. people will be like oh too much like building you know noise pollution like yeah. whatever all of that stuff there's also another side to it like 7.5 because i've tried mm -hmm. to like make the most out of it like especially on my birthday i mean yeah. i tried a new restaurant yeah. went to the fun fair like Ooh, what in terms, did you go to? we went to oh, you I know remember. the camp here it's an italian place it's oh i don't know road. but i think you went with fola i think and yeah yeah her meal looked so good so i was like oh what restaurant is this yeah. oh that looks really nice and it looks really good yeah and then the, on the actual day we went to the ivy which is right next to okay. the, the, the place so nice. in terms of like one thing i like like they have like casual restaurants but they also have like bougie restaurants, restaurants There's, like tattoo yeah. and like yeah. all these places so it gives you a brain like if you're feeling nando's or bella italia boy if yeah. you're feeling like you want to dress up dress and up like, you can do that yeah so it's kind of like london in that way because like we there is high-end restaurants yeah. and there is like cheap restaurants yeah. kind of thing yeah and in terms of activities i tried to get a golf as well mm -hmm. i've been meaning to do go-karting but i haven't yet yeah. Yeah. but there is a lot of things to see here like there's even like that cadbury world oh yeah, yeah. Cadbury. i want to go i haven't i haven't been cadbury yeah world same so good. yeah that, like in terms there is definitely things to do like you just have yeah. to actually plan it and go and like just go yeah yes you will, you will find the places mm. So yeah, Birmingham as a whole, it is an active like city. city. It's very active. There's always something going on. Like even in COVID, there was always something going on. Like yeah. somewhere, even though you might not know about it, it's like I can see on someone's story that they've been in this place. Like every mm -hmm. day, every weekend, yeah, there's just something going on somewhere. Yeah, that's so, true. It's very active. And then the last thing that we would probably break slash talk about, what would you, in terms of like the living, so like your mm -hmm. housemates, your okay. home, everything, the experience, what yeah. would you like to say about that? Um, I think I, again, would give it a 7. No, mm -hmm. I would give it a 7 out of 10. Mm -hmm. So I um, live in Chamberlain Tower, mm -hmm. right? It's very nice in mm -hmm. there. Like, I, I really like the place. Like, mm -hmm. I like my room. I actually enjoyed being in my room. Like, mm -hmm. I would come home and be like, <laughs> yes, like... Like, I enjoy my space. Yeah, I really so liked true. it. I felt like, yeah, it was yeah. pretty. And I got lucky in the sense of I'm on the 13th floor, so I have a really nice view for my room and from the kitchen. Ooh, nice. So it's like I can even go in the kitchen and just chill by the sofa, just yeah. like, you know, just just like chill, watch the view, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I I really liked um, the com mm -hmm. itself. It's very nice, very pretty. Um, and then in terms of like housemates. my housemates, mm -hmm. my housemates were calm. I really liked them. Mm -hmm. But then I feel like because I came late, they formed like a group oh, so yeah, yeah. yeah and I, I don't know whether it's because i'm black or <laughs> i'm not i'm not trying to say oh it's because you know they're white i'm black yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. but i started getting those vibes every time i was there were you the only black person yeah i was the only black person um in my flat mm. and like i tried my best to make like to be as close to them as i could because mm -hmm. at the same time i was also trying to get to know other black people mm. in a sense of like I've always been around white people oh, all okay. the time. It's not a bad thing, but that's mm. what I've... 
growing yeah, up. So yeah, coming to uni, I was like, oh, different. I want to join ACS. Mm-hmm. I want to hang out more mm-hmm. with this demographic yeah. demographic of people yeah, it makes because sense. I'm always with this demographic of people. Mm-hmm. So I think maybe with that, they wanted us to just hang out with us. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I wanted to branch out and like hang out with other, other people, people who were not just in the tower. Yeah. I wouldn't go into the kitchen that much. Like mm. when they're in the kitchen I would have to like wait. With that said, I wouldn't say they are bad people. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you know, my working. flat yeah, it just mm. wasn't working with me. But like generally our flat was like clean. For me I'd say like the I come itself well, I I don't mind the wet room. Everyone complains but I really don't oh, yeah. mind it. Like and it makes it easier when you're cleaning. In terms mm. of housemates, um to be honest, it wasn't anything great. Like oh. they literally put me like with five I don't even know if it's bad to say it, but like mm-hmm. they're all from like they're all Asians, so okay. they all have something in common. Uncommon. And then me oh, yeah. at the start of the year as well, I had one. It wasn't even a party; it was a gathering like ages ago in November. Mm-hmm. And ever since then, like they actually just like because I remember it was at two a.m. She was like, "Ngozi, can I have a word?" And like she oh. called, <laughs> she said, and she was like, word? "It's a pandemic. Like, what are you doing?" Blah blah oh, blah. And I was up. like, "Oh my." God. Well, yeah, I guess that's basically a wrap. But yeah, guys, I hope <laughs> you enjoyed this video. Thank yeah. you, Tali for joining me no problem thank you for having me yeah. on your channel it's been fun but yeah bye guys i'll see you next week bye, bye.